on to week seven of the NFL season. It's been a while since we had a decent Thursday night game, um, but the Saints-Cardinals game was not too bad this week. DeAndre Hopkins returned. He played just like the D-Hop we know. Um, so I was able to start the week off 1-0, taking the Cardinals in that one. But on to the Sunday games for my predictions for the week. Um, I'm going to start out with the Sunday night football game, Steelers versus Dolphins. The preview of this game is going to be coming out in a couple hours later tonight. But Tua Tungvalu is finally back for the Miami Dolphins. He went out. They lost three in a row, three in a row after a 3-0 and start. Um, I think with him back, the offense gets flowing. The Dolphins should be able to win this game for the Steelers. Kenny Pickett is not missing any time after being concussed last week versus the Bucks. Um Steelers, we thought that they were kind of a joke, but they were able to pull out an upset versus the Bucks. So that's something to, to keep an eye on. I'm looking forward to the game tomorrow night. Um, Falcons versus Bengals. I think the Bengals should win this game with no problem, but the Falcons are always a team that kind of make, make me rethink my predictions. They're 3-3, three and three, so don't look past them, but... Um, I think the Bengals need to win this game to keep their season on track and compete in the division they're in. I think that they can get it done. Lions versus Cowboys. Dak Prescott is making his return this week, but I'm going to take the Lions in this one. It's a gut feeling. Um, Amonor St. Brown is off the injury report. He's not going to be any type of injury issue, at least hopefully, for Detroit this week. We know that Jared Goff has been missing him as the Lions offense, which was hot to start the season. They've been struggling for the past couple weeks. Um, without him, I think that they can kind of, just like Miami, get back into the rhythm that they were in at the start of the season. The Cowboys defense has been playing really, really good behind that leader and, Mark and Micah Parsons, but I do think the Lions can get this done. I think that they will. Colts versus Titans. Winner of this game regains possession of the AFC South title, um, at least for the first seven weeks of the season. The Colts are coming off of that comeback versus the Jaguars where they were barely able to beat them. Titans are coming off of a bye week, so it makes sense that they could potentially win this game. But with the gut feeling, I'm going to go with the Colts in this one. Colts are off to a 2-3-1 start this season, I'm pretty sure. So no, 3-2-1 after their win last week. Um, but the Titans, I think, are not really the team that I expect them to be, or that anybody expected them to be, and I'm really low on that team. So I think that the Colts will be able to win this game, kind of get them back on track to win the division and get them back into first place. But moving on, Packers versus Commanders. The Packers need to win this game. They bought, they've they been off to an awful start this season, um, but I, I think that they will win this game. They should have no problem doing so. Carson Wentz is out for the Commanders for the next four weeks or so. I think Taylor Heineke is going to get the start for at least this weekend. The Packers need to win this game. They better. Same goes for the Bucks playing against the Panthers. Um, Chris McCaffrey, first game for him, uh, well, first game for the Panthers have not having Chris McCaffrey on the roster. And I think going against the Bucks, the Bucks know that they need to win this game. They lost to the Steelers last week, the week before, just barely beating the Falcons because a defender breathed on him and it was roughing the passer. Um, so I think that the, Buc the, that the Bucks win this game and for the Packers, I think that they win too. Moving on, Giants versus Jaguars. You could really go either direction in this game, but I'm going to go with the Jaguars. I know I've been really low on the Giants and I keep picking against them every single week. Um, but I think that this is the week that their season turns around in a negative way. They've been off to a really nice start, and it's been great for them, obviously. 5-1 um, and one to start the season, but I really do not see this team going 6-1. and one. Um, The Jaguars started off the season pretty well, but they've been kind of sluggish lately. I think that they can get it done against this Giants team, though. Moving on, Browns versus Ravens. I'm going to take the Ravens in this game. Um, they just lost to the Giants last week, so speaking of them... But I think that the Ravens will come out and win this game. Um, the Browns, though, they got blown out by the Falcons. Or, sorry, no, they got blown out by the Patriots. And they have their third stringer in. So it was more it was more of an awful loss for the Browns. I think that they lose this one once again to a division rival. Really, even when Deshaun Watson comes back for Cleveland, it's not going to save them. Uh, their season's already going to be over by then. But moving on, Jets versus Broncos. As much as it pains me... You know what? No, I'm taking the Broncos in this one. The Jets are not as good as they really, as people think they are. They look at their record. They're four and two. They're not that good. They may win this week. They probably will, but I'm just, I hate the Jets so much that I'm going to take the Broncos. Russell Wilson is out for this game. Brett Ripon is getting the start. And I, I hate the Jets so much, like I said, that I'm going to take the Broncos in this game to win. Um, It's going to probably be the Jets, but give me Denver in this one. 
Um, next up, Texans versus Raiders. I'm taking the Texans for my upset of the week. Although it could be the Broncos as an upset, but I'm going to take the Texans as my main upset of the week. Um, the Raiders have been awful. The Texans have been awful. But except one team was expected to lose all these games, the Raiders were expected to be playoff contenders. So here they are starting off the season one and four. They had their bye week last week, probably at a much needed time. Um, but I'm going to take the Texans. I think Raiders season may know it's over. Um, the Raiders season is probably going to be basically known as over if they lose this game. And I think that for my upset of the week, I think that they will. Um, next up, Seahawks versus Chargers. I'm going to keep it simple. Give me the Chargers. Seahawks have been really nice this season. Geno Smith has been a Pro Bowl type of quarterback. I think that he may even make the Pro Bowl. Um, but I think the Chargers have been off to the best start. Luckily, they're 4-2. Very ugly 4-2 and two start. But um, I think that they can get it done, move on to 5-2. and two. Chiefs versus 49ers. This game is going to be a this game is a must-watch game if CMC makes his 49ers debut tomorrow. I'm not sure if he will yet, and even if he does, he obviously won't get a ton of touches. But um, I'm going to take the Chiefs in this one. We know what they're capable of, and I think that they can get it done. Um versus an injured 49ers team. Bears, Patriots, Monday night football. Mac Jones is back. I think the Patriots should have no trouble winning this game. Prayers up that the Bears can pull out with the win, but I think that the Patriots will be able to get it done. Unfortunately, um, the Bears are just really awful. No surrounding pieces from for Justin Fields, and he cannot get anything to work for his life. So I'm going to take the Patriots in this one. The Patriots in this one, but that'll wrap up my Week Seven predictions. I'm looking forward to a fun week of football. Either way, that'll wrap up. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.